What up YouTube, it's your boy Big Cool coming to you from Big Cool Entertainment and I'm here to talk about Derrick Rose. As you all know, um, yesterday evening news broke that he suffered a left orbital bone break in his left eye uh, caused by an elbow from teammate Taj Gibson who alluded to it um, in an interview um, after practice. And it's just another setback for Derrick Rose who's had a long line of setbacks due to injuries. He's missed 210 games um, the last two years. He suffered torn ACL, um, meniscus tears, and, you know, it's just been a lot of uh, bad luck for him. Uh, although this isn't a major injury, Derrick Rose is known to, you know, sit out longer than usual um, when it comes to dealing with his injuries and rehabbing. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's overly cautious, um, you know, not confident in, in the work he's done. I mean, rehab, but that alone causes frustration for teammates, coaches, fans, and, and, and media people in the Chicago area. Um, Sarah Spain of ESPN Chicago stated in, the, uh, in an interview yesterday that it could take Derrick Rose five, he, or he could miss from either five games to 28 games, depending on him. Um, you know, to, he he going to want to make sure his orbital bone looks good for his son's graduation at 18 years you know, she was being funny, but she was being serious also. Like I alluded to a few minutes ago, Derrick Rose does proceed with extreme caution when coming back from injury. And it's frustrating because if he's fully, you know, recovered, you know, the doctor has, you know, cleared him 100% to go full throttle in, you know, basketball activity, why is it that he has to have an extra two to three weeks, month or two um, to come back, you know? Some people may think that he's just milking it. You know, doesn't want to have to deal with the pressure, but I don't know. I don't get that sense from him. I get the sense that he's overly cautious and really, you know, nervous about injuring himself because he's been through so many injuries as of late in a short amount of time. Um, coming out of Memphis, man, he was a sure number one pick. And, and they took him over Michael Beasley, and rightfully so. His first 34 years in the league, he was explosive, dominant, dynamic, uh, led Chicago to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, well, they were always on the cups uh, of getting over that hump, you know, but, you know, the Miami Heat, LeBron James, and D-Wade, them always was there to, you know, kind of turn them, turn them away, but they was always in contention for that top spot in the East and always was top contenders uh, to get to the NBA Finals. He won the MVP um, in 2011, having a dominant year, and ever since that next year, he tore his ACL against the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round. It's been downhill for him ever since. Hopefully he can get it back uh, to where he was, get back to being his explosive self, his healthy self, and, and this is the last injury. Hopefully he doesn't be out too long, you know, have the surgery, take a couple of days off, do whatever the uh, the rehab process requires, wear your mask and be back out there with your teammates and your new coach, uh, Fred Horberg, so you can learn his system, get acclimated to your new teammates and continue on what you started um, once you got to Chicago, I hate to see this happen to Derrick Rose because he he seemed like a genuinely good guy, nice guy. Um, he's just had some bad luck, and you know Chicago has invested a lot in him. You know, and if he wants to get another uh, big contract from the Bulls or any other team, he's gonna have to show his worth. He's gonna have to be healthy the next two years and and, and show the results and show the you know that that he's all the way back. If not, I mean. It's not going to be likely that he'll get the contract that he won't. He's still a great player, very good player, so he's going to get a, a a decent contract whenever his time is up. I mean, time comes for that uh, that new contract, but he's not going to get the mega money that he wants and, and thinks he deserves because he hasn't proven anything. And really, he just needs to stay healthy. I mean, because the East is kind of wide open. You know, obviously the Cavaliers are the favorite, but you have – the Bulls who can contend, the Miami Heat, the Raptors, the Wizards. Uh, there's a lot of up-and-coming talent in the East and up-and-coming teams in the East. And Derrick Rose is, is definitely the missing piece from the Bulls um, to see if they can get over that hump. But those are just my thoughts on Derrick Rose suffering another injury. Um, broke his left uh, orbital bone first day of practice in training camp. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Head over to Facebook and like Big Cool Entertainment, the Facebook page. Um, and I will be giving you more uh, videos, reviews on Empire Gotham, The Walking Dead, 
and so on and so forth. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.